podcast is intended for mature audiences. The views and opinions expressed are those of the panelists and do not reflect in any way those of the podcast partners, sponsors, or affiliates. Enjoy. Welcome to Las Vegas, baby. We taking over. Ness Heyman. Mr. Vegas. You are Mr. Las Vegas. I get in every fucking shit. They want me there. TBV presents a ring walk with Danny. Ring walk Danny. 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 Owen Bama. Only in America. Because I fight for the people. I go for you and you and you. All these beautiful kids is here. We turn a TBD into the hot 9-7 of box. Keep talking from faith. You already know if it's a big fight, I'm pulling up. Chicago, we in here. Man, man. From the cotton fields of Alabama to the casinos of Las Vegas. Mama, I made it. Root We up early, baby. The grind don't stop. Gilly the kid ain't gonna be the only one right here doing big shit. You are now Hi, this is Michael Buffer, and you're Live listening to the voice of the people. Uh, let's get ready for Boxing Voice. <laughs> Boxingboys.com. SDS Promotions. You know what I'm saying. Let's go, champ. Where's the Stay rematch, hungry. Champ? Stay humble. I'm hungry. I'm humble in defeat. And I'm going to remain humble in victory. This is it, right? Daddy Beyonce Productions. I just wanted to go on a great boxing masterclass. And also show the sweet science of this lovely sport. Man, the first time was so nice. I had to do it twice. <laughs> I'm prepared to the best of my capability, and I pray that I get a win. Look at him, I love Mike Tyson, how he came into the game. On some different kind of vibe, you know what I mean? It takes a crazy man to want to fight, you know what I mean? Day in, day out. It's a hardcore sport, as you said, no silver shoes. I took my 
hell. And I bounce back. Oh, he's a savage. He's an animal. He's a different breed of person. It's not like us. Why is he ducking George Foreman? He's already a tramp. He ain't no champ. Around here driving, making a business out of it. I'm a champion. I fight everybody, every month, all of them. Ball on. Theboxingboys.com. I kept telling him he had no punch. He couldn't hit. He's swinging like a sissy. He's missing. Let me see your box. I hadn't started dancing yet. He talks too much. He's ugly. He's pretending. I'm the true champion. And they make me the underdog. I'm going to show them all their own. Muhammad Ali didn't have a lot of muscles. He wasn't all that strong. This man's presence. You could hit him where you hit everyone else. But he was not willing to fall. He was not willing to be counted out. I haven't convinced these suckers yet. I destroyed George Foreman. I destroyed Joe Frazier because I'm the champion. I'm the real champion. There'll never be one like me. Bass, last night I cut the light off in my bedroom, hit the switch, was in the bed before the room was dark. I'm a bad man. I told you, I'm the real champion. I told you, I'm the champion of the world. All of it all. All of our critics call. All you suckers who write the rain magazine. I'm going to prove I'm the greatest. I'm going to prove to you I'm the greatest. We're going to prove to the world I'm the greatest. This is my last fight. I don't want none of you to miss it. No special training. Just be at the fight. I'm ready to back up everything I'm saying. And I'm through talking. SCS promotion. I took up the world. What up? We back. What that dry ass intro. <laughs> oh man, what up, champ? What up? We back. We back. Luis Armento Lopez in the ring, age 29, defending the IBF Strappy versus Mick Conlon. We'll see what goes down. Main event of the evening over there in Belfast. Mm-hmm. This is a 126-pound uh, featherweight attraction, 12 rounds or less. And Venado Lopez being announced in the ring as we speak. This main event took two hours. Yeah, they tripping. Past the Coleman event time, they are out of control. I mean, it was an hour. One hour for me is two. My hours... Uh... No, nah, actually, it was, it was like an hour 20 for sure. An hour and a half. There you go. I believe the boxing ability of Conlon is going to show up in this fight. I believe uh, Bernardo Lopez is way too um, wide. wide. He does have K. Karoma, Karoma in, the, in his corner. Mick Conlon instantly with a jab to the body. In that southpaw stance. And the straight left lands as well to the body. Bernardo Lopez in the orthodox stance tries the uppercut, nearly lands it. Mm. Lands that overhand left. Damn, that left hook almost landed for Conlon. He definitely got to be careful. Yeah, I think Conlon needs to box, not yeah. get into uh, Bernardo's fight. How long can he keep him at the end, though? And he he... He's looking like he boxing but punching, though. That left hook that he threw himself had a lot of talk on it. Good straight left to the body there by Conlon. Ooh. Nice, nice left jab. hook to the body by Venado. Mm. Left to the body by Conlon. Ooh, good left hook to uh, up top from uh, Venado. But he's going to have to sell out. Conlon landing that straight left to the body. In order to cut some of that distance, he's gonna have to he's gonna have to take some fire. <clears throat> One thing with Venado, I feel like he's either too wild or too stationary when he throws his punches. Like uh -huh. he'll either throw him wild or he'll load up. No, he loads up on everything. 
But obviously the pressure in there is different from on the outside. See, because on the outside, you're just thinking, you know, box and move. But obviously Conlon is not moving like that. But he's trying to fire back with the left. He's answering with his own left. He's trying to fight fire with fire. But that could get him in trouble for those that pick. Oh, uppercut lands from Ronaldo as Conlon tried to initiate a clinch. Uh, but for those that pick decision, that could be a bit nerve-wracking. Again, Conlon invests into the body, and I'm loving that straight left to the body. If he can continue to do that, we'll slow Vernaldo down. I picked against Lopez. I seen some of his sparring and uh, wasn't impressed. I made it clear that uh, that was one day, so, you know, I could have just seen a bad day. But 30 seconds left in the first round. I just round. look at it like Conlon is the boxer. He should be able to do this if he just does it right. Which so far, good right hook. Damn. Beautiful right hook by Conlon. Oof. Fernando answering back with his own back left hook. Conlon trying to let Bernardo Lopez know that these body shots will rain on him as he throws a six and seven. Oh, nice back left hook lands for Conlon. And another one. Uppercut right hook for Conlon, and that is the end of round number one. Mm. Good round for Conlon. Let me break out my scorecard. I'm going to have to get that round to Conlon. And Yo, score. shout out to Conlon uh, for his promotion. Got the Conlon boxing on the corner, in the corner. So uh, shout out to him. And just want to remind everybody and let everybody know that we will be live following this fight for the... Lee Wood versus Mauricio Lara. Yep. Uh, but we're not giving out own. we're not giving out the autograph glove until the Anthony Juice Young fight versus Alexis Rocha. And uh since it's already took place, I just want to say good good pick. Uh you know Terry Harper did win by decision. We gave that bet on the betting show. Mm -hmm. So uh specifically by decision. So That's uh, right. Shout out to us and to everybody who tuned in and uh, made some money with us. Round number two is underway. Mick Conlon in the black and gold trunks from the South Paul stands. Venado with the blue and white. I'm sorry, with the red and white in the orthodox stance. So I gave uh, Conlon round one, obviously, but good back and forth round. I just like the work of Conlon. Definitely invested to the body. Definitely used his jab, but looks here like Ronaldo is stepping up the pace. Like, oh, a little bit. Specifically with that right hand, as you can see. Good movement. And Conlon, instead Conlon. of boxing, trying to answer fire with fire, I, I feel like I see his punches just winding up with more velocity. Instead of just getting on that jab and using some pivots, he's obviously the more athletic fighter. Ooh, nice right uppercut to the body by Venado. Gets countered by Conlon, though. Tries a double hook uppercut, misses on two of the three big shots. Big fight for top rank as they brought all the big wigs. Bob's in there in the stands with the wife. And, uh, oh, good. Lunging. Right hand, left hand by Vernaldo. And this is what you can't account for, that awkward style that he brings. But Conlon answering back with some nice uppercuts. And they fighting in the phone Yeah, they move. know. Conlon is here to fight, and that's what I'm saying. He could Yo, make this he, easier. He, he really boxed. working that body, though. I ain't going to lie. He is. He is. Sounds like someone sent him a tip. The way he's investing downstairs. Ooh, oh, nice big right, right hook. hook. Damn, he gonna Conlon. stop him. He better not stop him. We went decision. Cause that right hook's landing with some freaking torque, man. Bernardo cannot allow those left hooks, the right hooks, to land minute, like that. Minute left in the second. Time stamp fifty one forty nine forty eight round two. 12-round fight here on top rank. Salute to 
shiny suit cinematic <laughs> became a prospect upgraded to the contender. Good jab by Conlon from the southpaw stance. Sna oh, but Venado lunges in with a left hand and snaps the neck back of Conlon. He's already gassing Danny. Yeah, he got stamina issues. He's already gassing Danny. And Conlon Damn. on the ropes. Damn, is it going to be a knockout? Look, hand Oh, what is this? What is this? That's that's an ESPN issue. I yeah, know no, they've is. been having technical issues all all stream, experiencing technical difficulties. We'll get this fixed asap. <laughs> oh man! In the middle of the fight, they tweaking with that. Now everybody gonna score that for their favorite fighter without watching. Damn, and that was coming the end of the second, so hopefully we're Damn, back. Damn, I hope he lasts, bro. He already getting tired. Sam Eggington with a knockout. That's crazy. I didn't know he would do it, but I questioned Pickford because he never fought nobody. Well, yeah, wow. Sam Eggington with a knockout. Knocked out Pickford. Is that is that no yo, Pickford never stepped up. People don't people don't like to value stepping up. They value he knocking people out. So yo, ESPN tripping. Nah, it's back. Okay, here we go. Round number three underway. They took a whole round from us, so we don't know what the fuck happened. I there. mean, they took like fifty seconds from us. I mean, I, I needed that. I, I really nah, didn't I have a winner. You. I hear you. Bernardo was doing better with his right hand. I don't have a winner for that round because of that, honestly. Round number three, though, two minute, 35 second mark of round three. Mick Conlon versus Bernardo Lopez. Bernardo's style IBF is so, the way title on the line. So weird, his style. Like, he's literally, like, putting his, all, his hands on his thighs and winding up, telegraphing. Colin needs to use his legs, man. Yeah, no. Colin, I feel like, could box. I'll box Benalo. Hell yeah. Old. I feel like he kind of trying to do a mixture of both, a bit of boxing and, and fighting. Mm-hmm. But that's the thing. That's when you get caught because you stand in that pocket too long. Good body work there by Bernardo. Look at these shots, yo. He's so funny the way he throws punches, bro. <laughs> <laughs> mm, nice straight left to the body by Mick. Right hook to the body by Mick. Right hook, left uppercut by Mick. Left hook by Mick. Uh, halfway through round three. Man. Yeah, man. I mean, Conlon should get this easy on decision, man. He just gets disciplined. He's not disciplined enough for me. I'm going to be real. He's making it a fight every now and then. Oh, good back left hook, but then oh, he got shit. countered he hurt. with two he hurt. uppercuts. He hurt. Conlon is hurt. Oh, but man. now the right right it's hook over. left hand. Oh, oh shit, my right God. uppercut. Minute left in the third. Bro. Mick Conlon's hurt, champ. Bro, he got a whole minute to go. Yes, he good holding. Hold. Oh, my God. He couldn't even stay holding. He better grab. Okay. Is he catching? He's not. No. He's not. He's still there, bro. He needs to move. Oh, my God. He's getting hit so he much. He about to get stopped. He don't fucking do something. Yo, Fernando is sneaking in so many uppercuts. Ooh, left uh, hook, right uppercut. Big left hook Colin by with the straight pass. left. Bro, the crowd telling him, come forward. Who's that, Peter Fury in the corner? Oh, shit. That's Peter, right? Is it? Yelling instructions with the white hair. They tell, no, they telling him don't come for it. I feel like they telling his ass to box. Oh, my God. Big left hook by Lopez. Wow, he made it out the round. Uh. Damn. 
What a round by Venado. Mm. Right there, he got he got countered, bro. He landed such a good back left hook and got countered with two uppercuts. Then it just kept raining on him. Yeah, it was two clean ones that hurt him. It was like a right uppercut. Yo, and look then at like look at Lopez's left. technique, bro. He is like he's here off a of sheer will. Like, look, look yeah, at these no, punches. No. They're not no even technique. traditional. No technique. Look at this. He's getting it done with that. Yo, shout out to the ref for, for letting him continue because a lot of those shots did miss. Bro. Damn. Colin, that shit fucking slowed down the computer. He looks to have kind of got his rhythm back a bit. He better box, man. Hope he learned this lesson. You know, you got to give Lopez that he's dangerous. Then he's awkward, bro. You don't you don't see those punches till you got hit. See right there throwing the jab. That's what you need to do. Jab, stick and move, stick and move. See he he's staying too long there. He need to stick and move. Uh. Ooh, Vinado with a nice overhand left. Damn man, he's finding a home for that shit. Conlon with the clinch. Two minutes and 12 seconds left in Bro, round number four. He is funny, this Lopez guy. The way he got... You see how he just jumped in? Oh, Ooh, good nice. body work. Oh, my God. He got countered by an uppercut. And it's that chin, bro, because even when he got caught with the last uppercut, he had mm. landed a beautiful hook. Bro, Bernardo actually got good accuracy, man. Lopez got good accuracy, bro. He he's landing a lot of these shots, even when Colin is trying to be defensive by and Colin now by, by by pulling Colin out. Colin was uh, orthodox momentarily, back southpaw now. And Lopez just smiling after eating a big shot from Colin. Ref had to step in, separate both guys there. They Conlon were going, and Conlon the going for it. He said, fuck it, man. Win or lose, I'm about to put it on the line. Everything he throwing got power outside of the jab. Oh. And Conlon ends up on the canvas. He, he took a front, front, front leg takedown. Yeah, it seemed feet got tangled there. Oh, good body shot by Lopez. Oh, beautiful backhand hook by Colin. Lopez just answers all the time, though. Uh, good straight right by Lopez, and top ranks feed ruined again. If you're watching this on YouTube, don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel and help us get to our next goal of a million subscribers. Yo, and if everybody watching right now, go on Twitter and, and, and voice your opinion on the stream. You mean to top rank? I mean to top rank ESPN. Like, bro, that's not cool. Some of us, we only pay the money to for boxing, not for other sports. Like me. Yeah, you know I mean, so. So I only use it once a week. Or rather, per schedule permitting. Alrighty then. Yeah. I'm going to go get a little something out the uh, refrigerator since we're on a break. Danny. All right, champ. It's all good. Do your thing. Yo, we might as well get a pot of coffee going, champ. Oh, man. I mean, you got the AC set to 85, champ. How could you not expect it to be hot? You feel me? But, yeah, man, we experiencing technical difficulties over here on ESPN+. Plus. It is what it is. Uh oh, I think we back. We back. All right, we back, baby. <laughs> Shout out to Top Rank and ESPN. So we are in between rounds. Mick Conlon receiving instruction right now. 
Round number five underway. Conley coming out with a double jab to the face of another uh, sweeping left hook. Conlin uh, shooting that jab now. And we have another clinch. See if... Uh, and the ref steps in, breaks that up. It's going to be a long night. We got seven and a half rounds to go. So, Ooh, nice straight right there by Venado Lopez. Conlon pivoting, trying to avoid those shots. Yo, Lopez so damn wild, man. I mean, you don't, nah, it's cool. Bring me another water then. Hey, yeah, I'll take some, champ. You know, they say when you drink coffee in the summer, it actually helps you cool down because you raising your body temperature, so you actually getting used to the heat. You feel me? Ooh, beautiful right hook by Mick Conlon. And Venado see. Oh! Uppercut sends Conlon to the canvas. The towel comes in. The fight is over. Oh, shit! Oh, shit! It's over. He knocked him out. Bro, you just said... Bro. He knocked him out. Tao came in. Damn. He landed the uppy, and he dropped him. Bruh. I know. I know, I know, I know. That was not cool. Obviously, uh, for Mick Conlon and his team. Bro, I'm such a fucking punk, man. I knew it. Then I, all on the betting show, I said Conlon's chinny. Conlon's chinny. You just say he's chinny. Fuck! He was in everything. Pretty much, bro. You kidding me? I feel like we had some where it was no Conlon. It was Terry Harper, Catterall. And then, like, the Wood, Laura main event. We didn't have one like that. I felt like we did, champ. Damn. Damn, damn, damn. He did it again. Well, that's it on ESPN+. Plus. At least the stream came back before the fight was over, right? I guess. Because that was pretty whack. Bro, that's crazy. Anyway. Yeah, that was a nice uh, uppercut. Both times the uppercuts were got Conlon. Well, all right, ladies and gents, catch us on the next one for Laura versus Wood. Wood. About 15, 20 minutes. Peace. Adios.